What's up, everybody? This is uh, Just Talking Shit with Mel Clemma. Is uh, that the real name? Uh, it's what it's gonna be because I'm tired of call. I'm, I've na- speaking of talking about yourself. Yeah. Uh, I named the podcast the Jay Fraser Podcast because I thought it would be easier for people to find it and it would be more obvious what it was yeah. and like. That's people trying to find it on sense? purpose, though. Nobody's going to try yeah, to find this on purpose. That's true. <laughs> so I should, I, it should just be talking shit. Yeah. That's always been, like, the tag, mm-hmm. right? So, yeah. but I think rebranding is in order. Yeah, you need some kind I'm of tar- hook. I'm tired of fucking saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it anymore, okay? Um, so, Mel is a, a comedian here in Colorado Springs. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's also a... Well, what's your new job title again? Um, She's got a new I job. don't know. I find out on Wednesday, I guess. Is it a thing where you get to kind of like make it up? Oh, I always make up my job titles. <laughs> yeah. my last Wizard of marketing. No, my last one was a <laughs> continuity manager. I made that up myself. That doesn't sound like a yeah. title. <laughs> I just put it in my email signature and let it go. Yeah. <laughs> they never said anything. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. That's how I do things. Um, we're uh, we're gonna talk for about an hour, I think, today. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get to know you a little bit. That's part mm-hmm. of the fun of this, actually, is that like I get to. I've done a couple podcasts where I've called a friend, yeah, and we've just talked. Oh, that's and cool. it's like really, it's like fun. Yeah. There's something fun about talking, talking. to somebody, mm-hmm. but in a way that you know it's like <laughs> it's like real, or it's yeah. like a, a it's Document. a production. Yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just wanted to ask, first of all, like where you're from Mm -hmm. originally, um, you know, where you grew up. Yeah. So just some, just something about your origins. My origins. Okay. Uh, Well, this is great. So, uh, approximately 27 years ago. I was born in Poudre Valley Hospital. No fucking way. I know. Some people, I grew up swimming in the Poudre. We have Poudre High School. Poudre is a thing. This is the best stuff that's ever been said. (laughs) Yeah. So So here in Color Springs, we call it Casha La Poudre. But in uh, Uh where I grew up near Fort Collins, and actually the town Windsor, everything's Poudre. So that's Poudre Heights is the subject. It's going to be really hard for me to take <laughs> yeah. any of this seriously. So, yeah. Do people was... get really annoyed where you're from with people? We just they all... say like Poudre and people are like, <laughs> no. like snickering and they're like, shut the fuck up. Like it's, <laughs> it's when I leave the just area. Just No, because all there, like everybody's like, Poudre, Poudre, we're all Poudre happy. But when we go outside of our little bubble is when I didn't know it was a thing until high or until college with all my college roommates because I was like, yeah, pooter. And they're like, Poo. and I'm like, no, that's where I was born. <laughs> so I, okay. we call it, we call the other thing that you're thinking of, we call it a cooter where I'm from. So pooter is the river, cooter is the fun pouch. Fun pouch. Mm. Yeah. But... It sounds like it, though. It, it does. And it uh, kind of doesn't matter that the first letter is... It just... It's still kind of... Yeah, it's French. So uh, that's probably what they meant anyway. Was like... Yeah, probably so. <laughs> probably. Probably so. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so that's uh, in Fort Collins. And then I grew up in Windsor, which is a small town. So Fort Collins, Loveland, and Greeley are like the bigger cities up mm-hmm. there. And Windsor's like... What uh, monument is to Colorado Springs, Windsor is to Fort Collins. Okay. If that makes sense. It's so like a I, satellite. Yeah, it's like of. a small town. We have one high school, Windsor High School. I was a Windsor wizard. Um, so, yeah, that was cool. Lady wizards. What, was your, ma- what was your mascot? Just like, like a, a kid dressed up as a wizard? Well, he looked like an old man, but was yeah. Was an old man? No, they don't. You should have just got like a homeless guy <laughs> to do it. No, you it's have to be mascot. agile. Yeah, no. Because like the middle flips school. Shit. Right? Yeah, the middle school had like a nice friendly wizard. And then the high school was like the angry wizard. Well, the reason why they were called <laughs> the wizards is because they were the bulldogs. But in 1924, our little small town went to the national championships of basketball and won the national championships. And they were so good, it was like magic. <laughs> so it's like the Windsor Wizards. And they were so good because they didn't actually have a gym. They had to play in the wrestling pit, so they could never dribble the ball. What? So all they did was like stand and throw it. <laughs> What? So everybody else didn't know how to do that, so they won because they were never dribbling the ball and they would just stand and throw it to each other. Is that even... 
Yeah, that's a thing. I guess that's, in 1924. I guess that's legal. I didn't know they had wrestling pits in 1924. Wrestling pits. They probably had ringworms too. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah, ring. Really glad <laughs> ringworm isn't like a thing we have to yeah. be super worried about. Well, like, yeah, it wasn't the pit when I was in middle school. It was. Okay. They'd say we're gonna be in the pit today for gym, and we'd all be like. <laughs> And my friend Jordan got it on her face because she, like, laid her head down. We are all like, no. And I remember she got it. Uh, were you a wrestler? You look like a wrestler. Mm -mm. Baseball? I, boxer. I boxer. boxed when I was younger for a couple of years. Oh. Um, and then I played golf most of... That's more what I Most of high school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just fucking snob. Yeah, yeah I, know. I, know. Yeah. I know. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I was giving you extra credit to say you're a wrestler, but I should have gone to golf. <laughs> I do, um, I do really enjoy watching martial arts and stuff, so yeah. I think that I want to get involved in something that doesn't involve me maybe getting my head kicked. <laughs> you can be the water you know? boy. No, I mean, like, doing, <laughs> doing like, jujitsu yeah. or something, where mm -hmm. you, I mean, you could definitely still get fucking hurt, right. but it's not yeah. like concussions or... Right. Kind People of to me. don't put a barbed wire on their gloves. Did you need to do any martial arts when you were here? Do you karate? You seem like you'd be like, a, I'm a blue belt. I did a little bit of everything, but no, I wouldn't say I really. I did jump rope for heart. Does that count? What does that mean? Uh, we would do a jump roping thing where you had to raise money and jump rope. So would you just do it for a long time? Was yeah. That the only yeah. Thing? Then you'd go around to your neighborhood and ask for money. You say, I'm going to jump rope for like four minutes. Will you give me $5 for and every then minute? You, and then you do it right in front of them? Well, some of them wanted you to do that. Some were just like, go away. Here's a dollar. <laughs> that I was the one who invented that trick of just like, let me see how long I can jump rope. And they would just give me money to leave. It's just and, become a nuisance. Yeah. They pay you to exit how, the premises. Yeah, That's however great. I get paid. That's really smart. Yeah. Really is. smart. I was... Uh, yeah, I was a very intelligent child as a as You're well only child? As an, no, I have a younger sister who looks exactly like me, only a little bit more fit, slightly younger, maybe just better looking in a few ways. Um, but she's smarter and more athletic. Uh, she's about Jesus. To, yeah, she's sure. <laughs> right. She just graduated college uh, with a double. I think major. I'm the best. I right. have five siblings, and I well, think I'm the best one. So. I'm good. I'm you think, funniest. You think you're the worst? I'm funnier, definitely. Um, she, I also, she, like, holds in stress and gets, like, fever blisters because she, like, can't handle it, and I'm just, oh, like, shit. I don't have any problems. <laughs> like, okay, I deal so, with my so shit. So she got some good stuff, yeah. but she also, yeah, she also has a like, no sense of humor. Yeah, and is... a sense of responsibility that I just don't <laughs> have. <laughs> I don't think any of us have that. No, it's a common we, trait. Yeah, I think comedians like talking about themselves, like mm -hmm. we said earlier. Yes. And they don't have any, there's no notion of, like, accountability uh, or, um... No. Like, Timeliness. <laughs> That's out the window. I'm bad at it, too, because I used to always show up on time, and everything was great, and it was so exciting, and then I would just be there for two hours before the show even started. So now I purposely arrive about 45 minutes after showtime so I can be there about 45 minutes before it actually starts. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's intense. It is, um, it's definitely, I, I get up fucking early, at least lately. Yeah. Like past What's early weeks, for you? Like five or six. Okay, that's early still. So, um, I try to be. Some days I don't make it. Some yeah. days I just don't make it. Uh -huh. Um, but I'm trying to get up super early. It's hard to be out till 11, 1130. Yeah. And then. No, totally. Like you got to get home and yeah. bed now. Well, they're like, you know? the show starts at 8. And you get there and like, you're going to go up at 1130. And I was like, and everybody else is like, this is cool. But it's like noon for them in their like daily life. And I'm like, this is when I'm in my REM cycle. It's like noon for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to be up till 6 a.m. Yeah. Those motherfuckers. Pretty much. And honestly, yeah, when I was a, a bartender and stuff, I would have been. Yeah. So. No, it's it's a different, like, when I worked, it doesn't sound as cool as a bartender, but I worked at the indoor soccer center. And <laughs> <laughs> so we'd have not to the be same, a, Not the same job. Yeah, there was still a lot of drugs and alcohol there. It oh. just wasn't being sold with money. There's still bartering going on. Bartering? Yeah, for, you know, trade drugs for alcohol. Oh. Different things like that. Maybe somebody would uh, bet on the U-12 game. 
and uh, trade with that. Uh, but yeah, the late games, because we had games that started at 12.05, so they would start at midnight. So I'd have to come oh. home, yeah, really late at night, usually to my roommates in the middle of a party. So it was just a weird lifestyle when you... So when would you get home from that, though? Uh, between 1 and 2, just depending Jesus. on what happened. Yeah, and that's usually the people who are bartenders or waiters and stuff who just got off work probably have some alcohol on them or whatever, and so that's when most of the fights would happen or different things. But the one time I did have to call the cops was during the day at like 10 in the morning when an arena football team rented it out and the two coaches <laughs> got in a fight in front of me. Yeah. Jesus! Yeah. Wait, whoa, okay. Talk about that a little bit more, please. <laughs> can, we, can we go ahead and... Yeah. Fuck any of the other questions I have. Like, t talk about that. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it was in the winter, so the arena football would rent out our facility to practice in it. And it was an uh, older white dude and a younger black guy. And they were the football coaches of this ragtag team of misfits. <laughs> but, I mean, it was just like, just like, you remember a Big Green, like that movie uh, with yeah. the soccer, ver this was like the football version, but adults, okay. <laughs> kind okay. of like that group of guys, All they're right. just like, oh, who's their star? I can't find <laughs> one. Um, but yeah, they're kind of adult, you know, has been guys like that. So then they're fighting over what play to do and mm -hmm. they don't want to fight in front of all of their players so they go outside and they come back in and the white guy older guys coming in and the black guys screaming at his face yelling football talk I don't know what the words are but um, so then they turn and are looking at each other right in front of me on the front desk like oh and I'm like this is like my fourth week working there I think I'm like 20 years old um, and so that's when the black guy just punched the white guy's lights out right there. He fell to Face? the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just like they were kind of yelling. And I was like, what's going to happen? And it was just like, boom. What? And so then the white guy fell to the ground and then looked at me. And then the black guy stood over them and screamed some more, um, like, football stuff. And then walked off. And then the white guy just laid there and then looked at me and said, go ahead and call the cops right now. So then I had to call the cops and do the report. And, uh... I don't know whatever came of it, but... Wait, so the black guy was the... Aggressor? No, but he was the assistant? Yeah, the assistant coach to the head coach that he punched. Because the head coach wasn't listening to uh -huh. him about what he should do. And uh, it was really important to everybody involved, I guess. <laughs> I wow. just, yeah, okay. just kind of witnessed it all go down um so he just socks that guy out yeah and, and that's leaves. the yeah well then he walked away and then he knew and then the cops kind of talked to him i don't know if he got arrested it just sort of filtered it they moved things away because then we had our youth kids coming in so we didn't want to have like this big arrest happening there so we just like shoved them to the back and was like okay we have real business starting so we just kind of hid them and i don't think we rented it out to them but there were fights that happened frequently there normally not in front of me normally it was through the glass because i would watch the games happen and um and a lot of the time it was like that was a black and a white guy fighting most of the rate most of the fights in soccer were either two different ages like an older and a younger guy or uh two different races usually it was like two different teams that um like the capulets and the montagues like mm. that just battled with each other and so you knew it was coming and then be like, oh, we haven't had a white and Mexican fight in a while. Oh, there it is. And we'd get one. Is there like a wheel that people would spin? Oh, uh, this week it's going to be right. old guy versus a midget yeah, or whatever, right. whatever no, it is. No, they didn't have a lot no? of midgets. Um, yeah, there was a lot of time. I mean, there was when the fights in the women's league were the most intense. And I saw a fight between a woman and a man once. Um, that was like, she just like jumped on his back. Uh, which is kind of weird. And he was trying to, like, get her off. And so then when he, like, shook her off, the boyfriend came in and then the two guys fought. Ah. So I saw that a lot. And that was uh, actually a church group that nice. was that. And uh, That doesn't, uh, honestly, that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I, they were the friend. worst. Yeah, everybody hated playing them. They were pretty intense. Um... Jesus Christ, man. That's, uh, soccer. Uh, pretty crazy. Pretty I did I think a part of the reason that I didn't get soccer when I was younger is I didn't understand from just like a cursory glance at a game uh, a few times, you don't understand the intensity. 
and I'm fucking passionate at these people. Like, yeah. It's, it's, uh, well, you're very close. It's so you're, fucking intense. Yeah, you're, um, they don't call it a contact sport, but I don't get why. It's because I think you should Your have more like padding fucking, on. Fucking grab ponytails yeah. and shit? Like, yeah, no, there's a trick whoa. in co-ed, so I play co-ed, too, so if I play against a guy, I can go up right next to you, and I can flick my hand right there, and the ref can't see it, and it gets you right in the crotch. But if oh. I keep a loose hand and I flick it, if we're both challenging to the ball, I don't do that. I just grab them and just wait. wait. <laughs> what do you grab? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I check if, well. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like, this is your weakness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I remember oh learning my God. that trick. That's legal? No, it's not legal. But that's what they teach you to do when you start playing co-ed. And that's why you tuck your shirt in. Too. I always tuck my shirt in because you can tell if somebody's pulling on your jersey. If your shirt's then untucked after the altercation, then you can tell. Mm. But with the little hand flick on the junk, it's pretty impossible. It's pretty rude. You know. How many times do you think you 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 gave somebody the the old the old wrist the old to the nuts? Wrist to the nuts. I mean, on purpose, maybe like four. Oh, okay. Times. That's not that's not very many. No, yeah. I thought you were gonna come out the box with like twenty twenty seven no, times. No, I wouldn't have counted fifty seven so times. Yeah. Acc my my things happen on accident more where I'm just like, I'm falling and grabbing things. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably where the number's higher. Uh, okay. Is in the like oh uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> just, my knees just give out when you <laughs> Technically I've hit three hundred people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get hurt but, a lot, but it's never on purpose. <laughs> So doing anything. 296 right. of them were yeah. total accidents. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. Exactly. Okay. So when you're talking about my sister, though, my sister plays soccer, and I attribute her being really great and getting a scholarship and all of that is because she used to practice with me. So they called her Mini Mel. So she would, like, come to all my practices, and she would do all that stuff, and she was so great. But then she developed, like, no fear with it. Mm. Uh, so she has to wear a helmet when she plays soccer now. Because it's so intense, she has uh, too many concussions that she can't. So I always yell at her, "You put the hell in helmet," when <laughs> she's out there. So she can't stop herself from trying to be aggressive with headers, right? And yeah, or uh, oh, she'll get she so mad. She if collide I, with people. I can tell. Yeah, I can tell you a story um, about somebody, not my sister. Names have been changed, but uh, what's your sister's name? Well, now I can't tell you because I'm about to tell this embarrassing story. Uh -oh. All right, my sister's name is Alex. Um, and so she uh, was a for she, she played goalie and forward. So she was a forward at this time. And so the ball popped loose and the other team's goalie was going for it. So Alex and the goalie were going at the same time. And they ran into each other. And Alex got up and kind of shook it off and was like, oh, that was intense. And then she looks over and the goalie has lost four teeth and is screaming, I'm blind. <laughs> oh my god yeah so that's fucking intense yeah so my sister that actually rattled her a little bit after that of like hurting so it's like herself she doesn't care about but like seeing what she did and she did a perfectly legal play it was fine you know it's just when two bodies collide and one's a lot stronger and more determined then that's what happens so she had to it's just like after you get in a car accident, you're kind of like shooken up. Like she had to kind of like figure out how to go play soccer again after something like that. And of course, all the parents, Dude. you know, are like, get number 10 out of here. She's a reckless beast. You know, that's hard to hear. <laughs> Is that <laughs> what they said? Yelling. That just sounded like a, a group of villagers. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing She's an yeah. aggressive beast waving yeah. a pitchfork. Is that yeah. what they sound like? Oh, yeah, 100%. They're the worst. My parents like to sit on the sidelines, like at the um, 50 yard, like, that's not called that in soccer, but the, what is that called? I play a lot of soccer. Half mark. Yeah. There's another word for it. But anyway, they sit there at the um, halfway. Why can't I think of that word? Anyway, because we're buffer parents. We're like the buffer family because we're just like fun and drinking our margaritas and things at the soccer game. <laughs> okay. But like the other sides of parents are just like, that girl's not 12. And just like <laughs> going crazy. And we're just like soccer. So she's 12. <laughs> No, she is 22, but that was then. Oh, so yeah. now, uh, she just is going to start graduate school um, in the fall. She'll be, my little sister will be teaching three college courses. So, How does that make you feel? Um, it's 
it makes me feel like I've got to find something I'm better at. Because <laughs> she, I used, I was always, you know, I always had a little bit more schooling than her because I was older. It's just uh -huh. like I was like, well, I have a high school diploma. You're just oh, more well, dance I, because, yeah, right? I graduated college. Well, now she has a double major and is beginning graduate school and is teaching. So I'm like. Well, I can't beat her in intelligence now. Um, <laughs> and she can get funny. And I'm just like, I'm a little worried because she's been like honing those skills. And now Do you teaching, think people can? Yeah. Just I get think, funny? Well, no. It's, well, it's naturally. I think there's some people that just lack the constitution to oh, yeah. there's make some humor happen. There's some pretty bad storytellers out there. There's some pretty, but like it runs in my blood. You know, like we are charismatic, funny people. So I think sometimes it's like, oh, she didn't get it. But then I go hang out with her friends and they're all like, Alex is so funny. And I'm like, oh, she gets overshadowed with like our family. But then out in the real world, she's the funny one. You know, when she's less to compare it to, it's like she rises to the occasion. It's like just different degrees of, yeah. uh, okay, she's like, that here's makes where sense. I can shine. Yeah, in central Kansas, you know, she's killing yeah. it. But when she's at like our family reunion, she's like, quiet because everybody else is so loud and hilarious like me wow um, okay yeah yeah uh what about your parents um, what do they what do they do they uh let's see what do they do hippie straight right. edge people think that because my name is melody jewel people are always like hippie no fucking way yeah um but my mom's maiden... melody jewel clima yeah that's my name right. don't wear it out um, <laughs> you know, but my mom's made it. My name ain't Dick, so keep it out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, but my mom's maiden name is Jewel. J E W E L L. Oh. Yeah, so it's just that. It's not. And then my grandma was a music teacher, so uh, she wanted to name her daughter Melody, and my grandpa was like, That's dumb. <laughs> my mom. No. Yeah, right? So then my mom was like, I'll always name my firstborn daughter Melody. So then I came along and their lives were perfect. And then they had one more kid later. Uh, but <laughs> I completed them. But um, no, Susan and Dan, like on, um, what is that called? Uh, Forrest Gump. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant Dan, mm -hmm. at the end, marries Susan. Mm -hmm. So it's like Dan and Susan. But my dad is Master Sergeant Dan. So <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't have the quite ring to it. Um, but yes, my dad's in the I army. I would like you to demote me to <laughs> lieutenant, please. Yes, I, I need to. I need to work with this. Yeah, well, he was. Uh, oh my god, that movie! Uh, it's the best movie. There are some scenes in there it's that the are. Best. I'm pretty sure there's one with Lieutenant Dan where there's a there's a a black soldier, and uh, uh, oh my god, Lieutenant Dan says. Well, you better tuck that lip in before you trip a tripwire yeah. or something like that. Oh, my that's God. That's Bubba. <laughs> yeah. Cause he's that like, is, that's right. That is Bubba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a pineapple shrimp, oh coconut shrimp, banana <clears throat> shrimp, broiled shrimp. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that's that. That's a good movie. It is. It's. Have you read the book? No. It's nothing like the movie. It's nothing. Is it better? No. It's actually. <laughs> no. It's, it's awful. sad. There's a lot of things that are different. Like, um, Forrest. It's not Jenny who has a drug problem. It's Forrest. Forrest oh, gets shit. addicted. Yeah, Jenny's just kind of like back better. and forth. Jenny's mom isn't like crazy. She's kind of around. Um, he goes to space. Uh, he gets stuck in the jungle and has to play chess, not ping pong, uh, to get out. And uh, he... His son, he never really gets back with. Like, it's pretty, it's a lot more disappointing. It's, like, more real life, probably. Are you happy because, that you read it, or no? Uh, well, I love, I love the story so much that it's, like, I have the soundtrack, have the movie, I had to read the book, you know, it's the trifecta. Yeah. So I, I'm glad I did it. And then I can have these poignant conversations with people about it. Like, here's extra knowledge I know. On the Just Talking Shit podcast. Yes, exactly. Uh, I know no, the most. We Talking Shit. I'm rebranding, re rebranding. Yeah. We shit Talking podcast. Shit Talking. Uh, she Talky podcast, like the mushrooms. And my, my fucking, <laughs> my new logo could be a mushroom? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That would definitely attract a certain group Yeah. Well, you need to pick something. Hippies. Yeah. So, that's definitely true. Right. Yeah, that could, that could work. Oh, yeah. I could just start having a mushroom just in, in different places. 
Yeah, like a different mushroom. So, or you could have one like floating around. People like watch later. Mm -hmm. Or I could eat a bunch of mushrooms. I already did that. Lose it on lose, yeah. lose it on the podcast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> half, half, like half the podcast is just. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> so they just fell How over. did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the laptop down. No, that's okay. On the TV, you can't figure out how to happened. put it back up. Is that like your timer? I feel like no, this no, no, is no, sliding no. out too. We have to. Like it is. Well, we're, we're reaching the the, <laughs> the last. Do we have little to bit. take a break. Shit's falling apart uh, mm. here on the Talking Shit podcast. Shit talking. Damn it, shit talking <laughs> podcast with Mel Plema. Uh, mm -hmm. This has been side A. See you fuckers on side B. I can't believe I'm still saying this. this side is B. <laughs> but what's the guy's alternative? Like, what's the equivalent? So for like a woman. Doesn't have any other skills. It's the sex. Fucking so scared. Scared what is, this table now. Yeah. What would be? What's the equivalent of a man's sex trade? Like, what do you guys do? Be gangsters, I guess. Sell drugs. Maybe? Sell drugs. Is that maybe it? Yeah. Construction workers. No, I probably just <laughs> insulted a it's, lot of people. How, <laughs> so many people. <laughs> yeah. It's okay though because they're probably poor and they don't they don't even have time to YouTube's or anything. Okay, so now you're really this. <laughs> they're not gonna find this at all. Right? Yeah. They don't have laptops. <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> they no, have to go audience. to the library. <laughs> yeah. No, don't go to the computers at the library. I'm not hating on anybody that's go to the library. I tried to. If do you're it watching once. this podcast in the library right now, fucking kudos to you, man. Yeah. Like, good for you. Watch something else, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. We're here on side B. I really probably have to stop saying that too. That's just I like, like side I'm trying B. to. I'm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy a maybe a, a camera. I kind of been thinking that I want your advice on this. I'm yeah. thinking about getting one that is nice, a, a high quality one, but one that's small enough and compact. I, I want like the full capabilities of being able to sh to yeah. shoot a you know low production movie, mm -hmm. but. I'd like to also be able to carry it, like, gorilla style, like, yeah. and be able to... Well, that's going to be expensive, the yeah. smaller... But I would suggest having a separate mic and a separate camera. You don't need to spend so a lot the, on so one. The, oh, okay. Yeah, because you can get a good mic for $100 or less on Amazon. I forget the brand name, but I can say that it's good because the... I think the sound quality is what people... Uh, neglect the most, and that can be the For biggest sure. problem. For sure. Yeah. And there have been plenty of issues on <laughs> just talking shit. Right? Plenty. Yeah. Plenty. 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 plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah. Um, Mel, uh, we have some uh, some balloons here on the here on the casting couch, which is definitely going to be the name of this couch yes. forever. Yes. Um, <sighs> We're, I should make guys do that too now. Yeah. I should make everybody pretend to be a dumb girl and uh, be on the should. casting couch. This That's is part exactly. Of the, yeah. You should do it more like an improv thing. Might be fun sometime where I could I, uh, I could get like some some porn people to like or people looking for porn to accidentally click <laughs> on the podcast a bunch uh, of times. You need a hook, probably thousands of times. Yeah. You know, yeah. look at like, the views I'm getting, man. Uh, it's getting big, exactly. blowing up. Yeah, or like holding a picture of a hot girl in front so they see that's the first image and then just like put it down and it's us. Gotcha again. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha again, perms. Yeah, but we're hilarious. <laughs> Keep listening. <laughs> Please. Stop what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> like, listen, you need help. I need to see both hands. You need clearance. <laughs> uh, we got some balloons in here because it was, yes, Mel, Mel's birthday. Mm -hmm. um, there's a camping trip. I missed the camping trip. Mm -hmm. um, I needed some some personal moments. Yeah, and diarrhea. That happens. Diarrhea. Th that too. That's what that is. I means. also had diarrhea. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I fucking bailed last minute. Well, also the the old Rango's not <laughs> not chugging so good yeah. these days. So I was kind of worried to it was drive tough. out and yeah. also um, having anybody else in the car. I was telling you earlier, like it's a bigger worry is that like I'm gonna strand somebody else. Yeah. Like if I'm stranded. I've had terrible things happen to me in foreign countries where I've had to hike miles and miles and miles to, you know, it's like, I know that I can get out of it, yeah. but like, I don't want to do that to somebody else. Oh, you know you're what so mean? nice. I don't but, get oh, that. But no, it's not, it's not me being nice. Uh -huh. I don't want to feel, it, 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 it seems <laughs> like I'm being nice. I don't want to feel 
Yeah. Well, the fact that guilty. you can feel anything is a step above a lot of comedians. <laughs> so that guilt there I'm will go away. <laughs> yeah, it'll go away. Don't worry. <laughs> I had a I had a really bummer podcast one time where I, it was just about feel. I just talked about feeling how I was doing. You know. <laughs> It was pretty, you know, yeah. yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. But no matter what, if I film one of these motherfuckers that goes out, <laughs> goes I'm just out. doing it. Yeah. I'm only putting it on YouTube because, you know, if I come to my senses and I decide that this is a bad idea and I shouldn't have all this out here, yeah. I can just, you know, at least right. get all that off. It won't be, you know, no, downloaded the, at least in a nice, ver I mean, somebody will probably, it'll, pro it'll definitely still exist. No, but, it'll be like a thousand like, years from now and they're trying to research our archaic Civilization and all they'll find is fucking Jay Frazier t shit talking. We found one clip to give us clues to the past. What the fuck <laughs> were these people about, man? Right. <laughs> yeah. What are the balloons? What are the. <laughs> What's a casting couch? <laughs> yeah. That'll, that's what we'll leave to our next, to our society, is I, this. You know, isn't there some kind of narcissism about anything that a comedian, like, does or writes, or, you know, there's this little, when I'm writing, like, in my, my journal, or... You're gonna say diary. I wasn't, I wasn't. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, my notebook or my journal, or... Yeah. I, I don't really keep, uh, I, I hesitate because I don't really keep, like, a straight-up, like... Yeah, I just have, I have loose like, jokes everywhere. I have books just all yeah. around the place. Yeah, I'm just like, I need with paper both now! both jokes and also feelings <laughs> on them. Yeah, but I like, didn't know um, you had feelings. That's great. <laughs> we're learning a lot about yeah. each other Well, you today. were, you played golf, so I was like, oh, feelings. Uh, out the God window. Damn it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also play guitar. Does that, uh, does that make it worse or better? Well, maybe worse. Probably a lot worse because I didn't know that. So if you were already like such a great guitarist, I'd be like, oh, that makes you better. But the fact that you're like, I play kumbaya by myself in my room. I fucking do. <laughs> I know. It's like okay. Uh, I sing it loud. Uh, <laughs> I burn incense. Uh, I, uh, I, I put uh, uh, what's that fucking stinky perfume called? Patchouli. Uh, patchouli. <laughs> 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 I found out recently that my favorite cologne, Aqua Di Gio, has uh, it would be. has a little bit of patchouli, patchouli in it, and, it, and I don't it <laughs> or not uh, like my historically like from high school. Yeah, I uh, I recently got like a little. I don't really use it anymore, but yeah. I got a little sample recently, and I uh -huh. looked at it, and I was like, oh fuck, uh, it's got a little bit of patchouli in it. That's how you become a part of Colorado. So everybody has to have like a little patchouli. Well, like, like okay. toe shoes. Yeah. A Subaru. Uh huh. A dog named Cheyenne. Yeah. Or Rocky. Well, <laughs> Rockies. <laughs> uh, I this is a very disjointed podcast, but it always is. Um, uh, shit's falling apart left and right. Yeah. Woo! Look, everybody. Mel's girl. Yay! There's a girl on the podcast. I'm uh, very happy yeah. to have... With a boy's name, kind of. Well, I mean, a little bit. Yeah. I, maybe I should say Melody. Melody. Maybe in the Maybe in the thing, it'll I be Melody. I like the mystery. Melody. Yeah. Mel. Yeah. What is she? Right? What is it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, it, I mean, it's kind of an... I've used three exclamation points there, but it's kind of an assumption. Yeah. You're, are you... Yeah. Right now, I am a girl. You mean, like, in this moment? Yeah. Are you gender fluid? Uh, Are you non-binary? It's actually my worst nightmare to have somebody confuse me as a boy. <laughs> I really is a problem. You sleep over that, that I have. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll be like, make sure my hair is like not too weird. I'll be like, from behind, do I look like a guy? Or like uh, skiing. You know, I always <laughs> make sure I add something feminine <laughs> so they know I'm a girl. Like. like all black and then like a little pink scarf that's yeah. a little, little whatever. Little... Exactly. Put a wig over my helmet so it just like flies behind or just like a I saw some bra. girl was going skiing in a fucking dress the other day. Oh yeah, that's Holy what we fuck. do now. Yeah. Where was she at? Is there snow I, don't, I just saw a picture of it. I, uh, I, well was, then she I might didn't not click be on the right article. now. I didn't click on the article. Yeah. So. They have the bathing suit uh, at Breckenridge. They do that I think or A-Basin. They do them where people go up in their bathing suits. Oh man. I just think like it's only if they fall it hurts. Dude, yeah, but like, uh, oh, that makes it a lot more intense. Yeah. And you know about that all shit. their gender right away. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're not hiding <laughs> under those many layers. <laughs> I mean, 
You yeah. say that, but uh, I've been surprised recently. Did you hear about the thing where there was a, a, a 50-year-old man who had a family, mm-hmm. and he said, or he decided, or whatever, yeah. he, that he was a six-year-old girl. That he was actually, wow. he actually identified as a six-year-old girl. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, reportedly, his family is supportive of him, and, and he also has an adoptive family. Was raising him? Where he is the daughter. Oh my god. Is this in America? And he ha I think in Britain. Wow. Or Ireland. Or it's yeah, it's it's definitely in the UK, but I don't remember. Jeez. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. Like what do you make of Oh my god. What do you make of that? Because um at least, you know, a few years ago, this was referred to as mental illness. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. I mean, is he still going to yeah. Yeah. See, now I don't know how it works. If he go, if he, if he is, does he still support his other family? Does right. he go to work as right. as dad, Jim Bob? Yeah. <laughs> and then he becomes little Susie mm-hmm. at five. No, you he's know, probably living off it? the government. He probably now has some kind of check. They have a new box here, like thinks you're a child, identifies as a child, and then you can get welfare. That probably is how he's doing it. I mean. If he came out and said, I identify as a woman, and uh, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to change my sexual organs, I'm not yeah. going to, like, I'm just going to keep being this person, but I mm. identify as a woman. 100% I'm with you. Yeah. But age fluidity? Yeah. Bitch, you're 50. Yeah. You're not a six, you're that's, not six. Yeah, and it's almost like. That's, dude, that's, this is mental illness. Yeah. I'm sorry, like. Whatever, man. Yeah. It, it fucking is. Or it could be That's just so like split personalities. Even... Like he has that in there, but then they have. I don't. Do you think that exists? I don't know if that, I've. I, I, I study psychology, and I've uh, been debating about this for a really? long, long time. Yeah, uh, I think I some people have acted yeah. like they have had it, but mm-hmm. don't. They no. have just learned how to how to. I think that pretend. it is. I think it's a coping mechanism that because the brain is so complex. It means, and it could still be like the same person, kind of, but there's a window in here that's doing something that this window doesn't know, and it does that as a coping mm. mechanism to get, you know, protect itself. Just like, you know, blacking out or whole accidents can happen or certain things that people were there and active and don't remember. Hmm. I think that's kind of how it plays into the brain. That's. Uh, I guess there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to entertain the idea that that would happen. Yeah. If you, I mean, you, you believe that... There is uh, people with schizophrenia that mm-hmm. that hear yeah, voices want, that aren't their own. Yeah, but it, they one hundred percent hear it. It yeah. fucking is though. It's exactly. Your, it's yeah, but your, that doesn't deny that they hear it or see those. No, no, things. no, 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 definitely, definitely. Yeah, because my mom has a psychologist best friend, and she has some crazy stories. Like one lady had a stalker, and they couldn't figure this out. She moved. She changed that jobs. Had schizophrenia. She uh, well, they didn't know what was wrong with her. Come, oh, she got was, stabbed oh, okay. by this stalker. Uh-huh. Come to find out, it's her split personality, and they could figure it out because she stabbed herself. But it was a totally uh, different handwriting. Because, like, the angle or stuff. whatever. Yeah, and okay. it was on her front porch. And she had no, she remembered, like, somebody t- attacking her. So it was, like, her stabbing herself. Or they had one lady who um, would always go and steal people's carts at the grocery store and leave them in the frozen food section. <laughs> so, like, people walking around and, like, in the frozen food section would be, like, six carts. Piled really? Up. Yeah, that she'd get banned from grocery stores and be, like, cart stealers here. And they'd have to, like, <laughs> escort her out. And it was, like, some psychological Dude. thing from her past. That she was working through, and so she had to do that. I feel, um, so I really, I, I got a degree in psychology. I thought I was going to be a psychiatrist you have a when degree? I was. Yeah, I do. That's good. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Like, I'll give you the patronizing pat right back. Uh, dang it, there's I another like, comedian okay, with a degree. I want right? to be the only one. I wanted for, the, for, like, people have been a little snarky with me a couple times recently. Yeah. And it's almost been like, no one, everyone here has a high school education. Yeah. Like, I don't want to hear, <laughs> right. even the older ones, yeah. high school education. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I do. I think that... Gotta I, be careful with that one, man. Yeah. I, I've wanted to, i wanted to now throw there, that in someone's face a few times. There so. can be people that have high school educations and nothing more that have continued to educate themselves 100%. in ways, but college but. teaches you a way <laughs> to think... That you don't get in other places. I definitely notice a, and it's not, I'm not mm-hmm. trying to insult anybody. It's yeah. just the way that your brain or the knowledge that you have mm-hmm. 
there is a difference in communication between somebody yeah. that has mm -hmm. the high school education and somebody that has yeah. a college education. And, it, it just and it's completing education, too, because there's a lot of people who have some college. Yeah. But it's the actual... And the thing is, what I learned the most from my family is it's not necessarily what you get your degree in, but it's that you have a degree, which people hate that, but it just shows that you completed something, you know? Mm -hmm. You started with something and you did it. Yeah towards the end and I think that's something and college year teaches you time management teaches you working with people that you effing hate you know but you have to have those skills were you one of the people that uh did 80 percent of the project because yeah. I definitely I I'm such a lazy person and I still yeah. I still I could not allow some of the teams I was on to it's just like this idea of let's just get it let's just get by let's just get a beat uh -huh. fuck you yeah. like I'm not like you're right. not Affecting my grade because right. you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Education. Type it up, John. Right. Send it. You fuck like it's, <sighs> like don't. Yeah. People piggybacked off our groups, but education is the one thing that we actually want less for our money. Mm. You know, we want to pay all of this stuff, but we actually want less of an education when we're there, which is a weird thing. Well, workouts are kind of like that too. You know, like you pay a bunch of money for this workout, but you don't want it to be too hard. So it's kind of a weird concept but I was always the group leader I mean even sometimes I'd be like okay I'm already the leader of five groups in, mm -hmm. five, in other classes so I need to not be the leader in this one but then nobody would do it and you know part of it is probably my micromanaging but I'd just be like fine I'll do it so I just organized everything and I actually part feel, of it's because I'm crazy yeah so I will so, fully admit yeah that I'm totally. just I can't let things go sometimes yeah and, sometimes you end up yeah. doing less work as a leader if you get a good group and you're just delegating and just making sure it's all like putting the final project together that's the kind of leader I am when it's like everybody's not doing their shit kind of leader and it all falls back on you that's when I just like lose friends yeah <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I can get I just, pretty angry. I just stop having those friends <laughs> yeah I just uh, don't see their value anymore <laughs> and I move on <laughs> um uh what was I gonna mention um Oh, well, we were talking about the uh, the camping trip mm -hmm. and your birthday. Yes. How did everything go? Oh, my gosh. Well, it, well, I was a little nervous because this is my third year doing it in a row, and there's usually over 20 people, and I ride up there with a friend. Normally, it's been Brittany, and uh, this year, Brittany couldn't do it, and then my Who roommate that? failed. Uh, she's my BFF from the bakery. <laughs> we worked at the bakery together. My BFF from the bakery? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So that's Brittany. Um, Does she work in a bakery? Uh, not anymore. We worked in the bakery together during college. You became bakery buddies. Yeah. I, I helped get I her see. the job. Kind of. We got drunk the night before. She was uh, living with one of my best friends. So I said, yeah, come by. Blah, blah, blah. She like showed up the next day. I was like, oh my God. The little girl actually. Yeah. Wearing a very short skirt. I remember everybody else was like, who is this girl? Like, what's her skirt? And like the one guy that works there went up to her and was like, hey, Brittany. You're hired. And I was like, he has no authority. Walk away. <laughs> Walk away. <laughs> well, don't let him touch you. <laughs> so I was kind of like that. But yeah, so I, Brittany couldn't do it. My it's roommate, so funny that you invited her. Yeah. And you didn't think she would come. It's so fun. That's, that's pretty. That's a like. pretty funny thing to, <laughs> yeah. to talk about on stage. Is like, right. you know, you, you invite people. Like, I, I tell people sometimes, like, don't tell me I can come visit you in Japan. Yeah. Because. I will. Then I will save money for three months and come to Japan. You know, <laughs> yeah. like I'll show up. Yep, and that's what my sister hates so, about me is that I'm always like when somebody's like, "Sure, take one. I will take one." Or and she's always like, "They say that to be nice." I was like, yeah. "If somebody offers it, I do it." And then when also when I commit to something, I do it. You know, kind but it of just kind of surprised you that. <laughs> yeah, I never expect anybody to do anything anymore, <laughs> but I'm still constantly disappointed because I think like, yeah, <gasps> maybe this maybe. person this yeah, time. This time and they I'm give always me. Like, Dang it! Do you I'm think like, there's some? I definitely kind of get that feeling being a, being the generate our generation. I think we yeah. just kind of accept that it's just like yeah. Well, I think people are apathetic well, it's not and fucking. Just, it just it's not our generation. That's what I learned too. Is it's not an age uh, thing or maturity. It's just some people get their shit done and some don't. I'm five years old now. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I like just, this. This yeah. is better. Yeah, you could just decide that. Like some. Um, can I eat from the kids' care. menu? 
Right. So you're 30 years old. Right. I'm five. I'm five. I can do it. There's I just, identify as five years old. What I struggle with is I identify as 75. Give me that discount. You yeah. Know what I mean? That's what we should do is go the opposite <laughs> or 65, way. 65. Yeah. I mean, I had a coworker um, a while ago who I was training. She just got hired and she was in her uh, maybe 50s uh, or late 40s or something. And she was saying, I just want to be like Melody when I grow up. <laughs> You know, and I was thinking, I was like, damn, <laughs> I don't really like, but it is, it's like, I just get my shit done and I don't know how people can't, but then I have higher expectations of everybody because I'm like, just do everything I do. Yeah. This is how I'm doing it. And, uh, people just can't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely tr want to project your way of thinking on the rest of the world yeah. and it doesn't work out it makes me ever. more sad than pretty them. much any yeah. time does that work right out. i'm the one who gets sad and not them they don't give a shit so that's really kind of why i get why people are very when stuff like politics or lifestyle or whatever why people like to be part of a team mm -hmm. they like that like in, I, in my opinion anybody that toes the line 100 percent, you're a fucking crazy person <laughs> or you're lazy or yeah. you're just 100 percent lazy uh -huh. and you just i agree with blue yeah doesn't matter what that means i agree with right. them and yeah. that's just how it is because prob honestly probably if you could do that you're probably happy like, ignorance yeah. is bliss i think it's a hundred percent true. It's just like I don't know sort if of it's a, true. You can just sort of keep away from something, yeah. In a way, I guess, and probably have less stress. Yeah, you I mean, don't know what some, you're missing. Maybe some deep psychological yeah. stew well, is going on. But. It's just like the Matrix. Like, would you rather live in the Matrix that is this life, or would you rather be in that cold, sad, dark? area and feel like real pain but no this is reality like do you want to have reality do you want to have a fake dreamland where you feel great okay like, like, that's that's a great scene in the movie where that guy's like eating the steak and yeah. he's like i know it's not a real steak but it fucking tastes good yeah and right. that's not real wine i'm not really eating drunk but yeah. it seems like it right exactly like, yeah i kind of I, I live in a fantasy already. I'm very aware of that. I really uh -huh. I really wanted to shoot a scene where Morpheus is offering me the pills. Uh -huh. He's like, is that, are they both in one hand or... I think it's like red and blue hands? like that. Um, so he offers them both and I just grab them both and eat them both. Uh -huh. And just like look at him. <laughs> and he's like, nobody's like, ever oh. done that. <laughs> 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 We're waiting for the wormhole. I just become the one immediately. Oh, and he's yeah. like, oh shit, that was... Mm. That's all you did. You fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> Great. You're probably going to shit your pants later. Where'd you get those pills from, <laughs> yeah. first of all? Right. That's what I want to know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I I think it kind of, I don't want to not be aware of all the shit. Like, the most ridiculous shit keeps me up, Yeah. honestly, mm -hmm. that I'm totally wasting my time thinking about. Yeah. But I'm not going to convince anybody else to change their yeah. mind that I disagree with. It's right. just, it's fruitless sometimes but, it's good just to know that you're doing your own thing you know like recycling like it hurts me when i see people not recycling mm -hmm. you know like i'm just like it's so easy we're saving our planet so i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna recycle my cans and feel good about myself and whenever i can educate somebody i can or like i throw things away and go recycle it and different things but i get so upset because i have a coworker that's just like mm -hmm. it's just too much work to recycle i'm like too much work like to here. recycle like, yeah, what? Really is it too much work to live in a bunker when we all explode? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Right, you'll be dead. <laughs> let's go ahead and let's inconvenience ourselves a little bit more right. so that we don't end up in a fucking bunker. Yeah. I don't want to live in a bunker. That's what I feel like. The end is near. I don't have the constitution to live in a bunker. Yeah, no, you'd okay? be first to go. I'm a half gay. <laughs> right. Like, I think that that's... I think that I'm fine with that. Oh, if that we just went, went around saying that. Yeah. Because I've openly admitted that if... You'd have to be exceptionally handsome. But I'd probably, sl I'd probably sleep with a guy. Yeah. I probably would. Oh, so you like, have to go for the... Hand you wouldn't want, like... I don't... The like, that, this is why I'm afraid to tell anybody that I'm gay. Is because if I do that, then ugly guys are gonna... <laughs> like, I'm not on the table for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's extremely you exclusive. You need a seven, at least. You know? I'll yeah. be I'll be a rich, handsome millionaire's butt boy. <laughs> but, oh, so you would be the receiver. I mean, depends. Yeah. Depends on the... how big a check I'm getting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Everybody has their limit. Oh, man. No, I think uh, if I went for girls, it would be the similar how you want, like... You'd have to be a very... Well, would it be a good-looking, like, rugged, good-looking male guy? Or would it be, like, 
looks kind of feminine. I don't know. Like what? Have you ever? Okay, so when you look at a dude, that's I'm not attracted. Attract, I'm not attracted. You never. Uh-huh. You're never like. I mean, I can look at somebody and say that you're. Dude. Yeah, yeah, but that's not. That doesn't mean I'm attracted to them. It's okay. Just, I so when you look at aesthetically, yeah, like the statue of David. So that's the kind of guys you it's, like. It's, it's, it, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you want like a cut? Yeah, with small with a tiny dick. With a t- well, yeah, because yours has to. Oh, look that's the other. <laughs> like you got to be like, like. Tiny. Yeah. Teeny. I know a few guys I could introduce you to. <laughs> there is a real Are they erect and handsome? No. Then no. Well, yeah. <laughs> pen, you pen, see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the, like, I would never... I think it's crazy to be... I'm not really open to to sexual encounters with dudes. It's just yeah. like, I, I understand... Like, I'm not grossed out by it. <laughs> I just... I'm not... Doesn't do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my thing. How far but have you I gone would, with the dude? Um, I've kissed a guy jokingly, but it was like, a fr- it was just like a friend. Yeah, just on I the think, lips. I think there was once that we, a uh, uh, friend and I kissed in front of these girls and then um, went and slept, both, either one of us, or both of us slept girls. with those two girls after that. So it's like. It, While you made eye contact with a bro across the room. I mean, I, and, and, <laughs> and, and, and caught little high fives. Yeah. And like maybe just like. Little tickle their butt a little yeah. bit, you know? No, that, that, that part definitely didn't happen. Yeah. But, but, like, um, I'm just not grossed out by it. Yeah. But I would never be, like, yeah. I'm bi. Well, because I, I don't want fucking... It's I don't a, it think you are bi. Me. I think you would be bi if you really were wanting to kiss yeah. anyone. And if you don't, just if you're just there. accepting it, you're just tolerating... You know, it's not even tolerating. Because tolerating, to me, kind of means, like, you don't like it, but you allow it to exist. Accepting is a little bit more of, like cool like you can do that thing and that's fine yeah. in front of me because it's so freak because now you know tv shows are starting to have like i watch empire that has a lot of gay encounters in it and i watch shameless game of thrones that has, a, yeah a, game few, of thrones. a lot of shows that are but they used some... to just like cut to you know they'd be like embrace and cut and now it's like embrace they're embracing they're together they're kissing this is happening you know or the full-on like grab from behind yeah i never saw like uh what's it called the fucking Bear back, back mountain. broke back mountain. Yeah, I you never ever saw. see that. No, I can't. Apparently, it's just reference. like a <laughs> thing. Wow. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Yeah, see, I'm just, just not. Just spit. <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah, I think that would I make me feel uncomfortable. Boy. But think... sex and ge- just watching sex on like, what is that called? This Gratuitous sex. Up. You want to fix yeah, it? it's okay. We can just. The uh, the casting. Oh, your drink, your drink, your drink, your drink. Oh, it's okay. Okay. The carpet looks so nice, though. He does have nice carpet. You wouldn't think that, but uh, this isn't his house. So (laughs) that's why it's so nice. Yeah. Um, There wasn't any toilet paper in the bathroom, but I did find some all the way away. So I had to drip dry and walk over to it. Uh, So that was interesting. What else about Jay's house? Um, Yeah, it's cleaner than I thought he would have it. There's a golden egg over there. Uh, I don't know what he did to earn that. Uh, he does have a nice TV. There's books. Some of you might not think there's books here. I'm getting a little high off of the fumes from the carpet cleaner and I'm not saying I don't like it. It's just battery acid. It's just battery acid. It did uh, remove that quickly. What What is that? Uh, spot the devil's shot. jizz. Yeah, spot shot. It works great. <laughs> uh, spot shot, send me free cans. Yeah, so, and then I think if we get one of those little straws, we can get high off of it too, like duster. Oh. Maybe. Um, do kids watch this? They shouldn't hear me say no. those things. No kid is watching um, this. Yeah, but this will work on the cum stains on the casting couch later. That's true. So, very good. Or what you could Actually do. Actually, Bukaki. Right? You, yes, you could wrap this in uh, like ready whip. And then people would think that it's oh, whipped gross. cream. Oh, gross. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's how you well, kill someone. Of, it kind of like disappears. I think yeah. somebody would see, know that. Or they're... put spot shot on whipped cream. <laughs> somebody oh, rub whipped gross. cream. Yeah, okay, here's a story. And then we can Let's end see. this. Uh, I'm a little trickster, okay? I like to play pranks. As and, you do. Um, as, as, I do as, as you do as, as a comedian. Um, so my mom, a lot of the time she would trade off, uh, you know, like, oh, I'll pay your car insurance if you rub my shoulders a little or something mm-hmm. like that. So it was some, I was home and she was like, okay, give me a massage. My dad does yeah. That. yeah, totally. And so I was like, okay, cool. And, uh, so I snuck ranch dressing over and set and like squirt it all and like set the lotion down 
and like rubbed it in so it's like ranch dressing. I'm covering her back now and I'm just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like and then finally she's just like this is weird lotion and I'm just like it's ranch dressing. You're covered in ranch. You have to take a shower. This is hilarious. What time, what time is this? This what was at day? night before she was going to bed. So oh she was my, like okay. ready to go to bed. Now okay. she had to go. I didn't like ruin her day necessarily but she was kind of pissed. Yeah. And well you know what she was more mad did she, about? Did she drop an F bomb? No, my mom doesn't. Well, she only she says what stuff the like fuck? No, she does like so fart and Dell knocker. Like what? she does like uh like cheese and, cra- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheese and crackers got all muddy. <laughs> things like that. You're still. I hate when yeah. people do that. You're still swearing. <laughs> I know. You're still saying something or because you're upset. What's she the difference? does the worst. The Utah thing, which is like, a, oh my hell, be like, oh my hell, Melody, and I'm just like, oh. Or then she'll be like, I said, oh my heck, or she'll be like, oh my heck, and I'm like, that's not a phrase. Like we don't say that here. Who is saying this right now? Yeah. Yo- Where did you learn this? They do. Uh, she got. She hangs out with her friends from Utah. So crazy. She comes back and says it a lot until we can like beat it out of her. Yeah. Stop. Just do. Just, just yeah. Stop. Yeah. Not a thing. Not but, words. What she was the most mad about with ranch dressing is that I used so much ranch. Like I wasted the ranch. This dressing. could have been on a salad. Yeah. Now it's on my back. Right. Exactly. It's like you better scrape yeah. that off and put it back in the bottle. Oh man. <laughs> Speaking of which, I bet there's gross ranch porn out there. If anybody's into that kind Ooh, of thing. Sounds like a yeast infection. Uh, is this <laughs> so the second time yeast that. infection has been said on the podcast? I today? said UTI and then yeast infection. Close so, enough. yeah, it's just kind of a Woo! thing. Woo! Lady venereal Yay! diseases. Yay! Yeah. It's Mostly. not a disease, is it? Oh, it's, it's an infection. It's kind of disease y. It's though. for not it's going to the bathroom after weird. lovemaking. Mm, to yeah. clear out all the. It's when you splooch. turn into like a cum dumpster and you just. That's what forces me back. to like go to the bathroom after because I'm like, don't be a cum dumpster. <laughs> so, out, 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 yeah. out, out, out. So it makes Get me out. leave. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you so Melody? Yes. That is What's a girl. your full name? Is it Jay? It's Jay. Okay. Yeah. Jay Rome. <laughs> Jay Patrick. Jay Patrick. Yeah. Cool. Some people, some like my uncle tried to call me Patrick, and I was just like, stop. stop. I think there's always something weird about people who go by their middle name, like Ryan Pacheco. That's his middle name. I have people from uh, school growing up where it's just like, they're always like a little like, is that the most interesting thing about you? Is that all you can do? Go by your middle name? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, tell us something about yourself. I go by my middle name. Yeah. And like I love pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that first bit? I go by my middle name. <laughs> It's not a thing, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have uh, any shows or anything? I'll probably get this um, out in the next couple of days. Well, but... I do have a few shows. Uh, tomorrow, which is now going to probably be today or yesterday or something, July 1st um, is my next Locals to Last Call. It'll be my 21st show of oh, Locals shit. to Last Call. Yeah, so that's... Um, how long is that? Uh, it'll be two years in November. Whoa. Yeah, so it's once a month, so 21 months. Oh, that's true. Okay. okay yeah, okay. there we go. You're so pretty. Hmm. Oh, I, I get by. I get by on it. <laughs> yeah. I got a degree. I just kept showing up, and right. then I was in the cap and the gown and things, yeah. and I went and I got a degree. Yeah. Give the pretty boy his paper. What happened? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but we're doing something fun with this one because we usually do. Yeah, explain this to me. So yeah. you're doing a roast. Yes. Yeah, so we always start out with a showcase, which Jay's going to be showcased on September 9th. Um, for the locals to last call. Yeah. I'm seeing so, you motherfuckers. Right? And that's at Gold Camp Brewing Company. But, um, yeah, so we always showcase different comedi- comedian and musicians. We're still doing that. But then, the second half... I'm still half, trying to figure out, have you thought of anybody to pay her? Or, I'm still, for this one I'm still, right now? Yeah. Is Ryan... Oh, for you? Uh, no, I've had a few people turn me down. Because um, of me? No. Because <laughs> they're uh, Who's comedian? Yeah. J- Jay Frazier? Fuck no! You know, it's more like, Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Fair enough. yeah so i've been really trying to just book a few other so i'm trying to get that one booked for you next but yeah we have um 
Then we do an open mic at 10, which is great because you get to see all the different acts around Colorado Springs. But this time, because Evan Pliss is moving, we're doing a roast. Are you part of the roast, right? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Well, I'll also do a joke about you anyway. So at the roast, <laughs> we'll have Evan up on stage probably the whole time just sitting up there. The roast master is Wade. I mean, um, where? As long as I think a big... He'll just be standing up there, sitting up there, while the other person is one at a time. People will be roasting. Nice thing. Yeah, okay. and uh, so you roast all the other roasters, and then you end with like a major roast on Evan. So like past roasts, um, what are some good things that I've said? Oh, I made fun of. Oh, Casey Dean Fraze is gonna be there. I talk about how he looks like a Chihuahua duck dinosaur, like mixed <laughs> together. Chihuahua duck dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur. Like, yeah. All of those three, and he sounds like one too. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was like too mean when I make fun of people's oh, like physical attributes. Dude, 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 go mean. Yeah, but they actually, it's harder when you like if you hone in on their life failures. That's what really gets them. So I gotta do some research tonight on, on what people have failed at, <laughs> and because they pull things out. I don't Someone know. burned the high school down. Yeah, no, it's oh. more like uh, so you applied to Columbia, got oh kicked out God. your first week. <laughs> you know, oh, like, like, yeah, oh. things you didn't know people like knew about you. That's like, oh, you've been trying to go to Australia for three years, but can't seem to get the money together. I'm like, what? <laughs> Like, how do they know, do you know this? My yeah, <laughs> just, like, scary stuff or, yeah, just, like, different things or, like, they'll just, like, throw your weight out there. It's like, how do you know how much I weigh and why I'm so sensitive about it? <laughs> like, maybe, sometimes yeah. maybe that's just a really good guess. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, so it's it'll be fun, interesting. We'll have barbecue, we'll have tacos, we'll have beer. Uh, so if you want to stop abstaining, you can have some beer. It'll be... Well, I already... Had a drink yeah. the other night. Mm -hmm. I really kind of wanted to see just what it would feel like, yeah. and I kind of didn't. Kind of didn't like it. Did you get buzzed at all? Like at first, I felt a little, a little bit. Like ooh. Yeah, but then the rest of it, it was just a drink. It's just and a drink. I felt yeah. weird about it. Well, there's alcohol in these kombuchas. You would know like, that. It's right? like whatever. It's, it's so tiny. This is how you're keeping your addiction alive, feeding it with kombuchas. Yep. I, yeah, I'm, I'm this, I'm becoming this person that's yeah. drinking the shit and right. eating salads. And hipster. Hipster healthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's better. It's better. I guess. Yeah, keep recycling. But I'm probably <laughs> gonna start drinking again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just to be honest. Well, it's um, tough. That's why. I like, I like. Having a couple of beers at Gold Camp. That's, yeah. that's maybe my favorite part of my week sometimes. Yeah. It's very, it's good it's beer. A nice place. Yeah, it's, it's just fun. a good sit and bar. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's good. I wish the acoustics were a little bit better sometimes. Um, I like if it's it, tight though. But, yeah. You got Hell, it. I could just, if everything fucks up, I can just yell. Yeah. Know? And every month, I mean, I right. guess some people can't you do, do that. You do yell. But <laughs> I know. Already. I know. I might as well just not even use them. I'm just yeah. going to stand a little bit in front of the stage and yell at right. everybody next that's time. That's funny. Now, who are the who are the loud comedians? You and me, Alyssa, is very loud. Mm. Chris Ross, very loud. Yes. Um, Megan, very loud. Mm. I think that's all the loud ones. We're all we should get we should all do a show together with like all the loud ones and just like all talk and put a microphone and see whose voice gets picked up. I'd be Alyssa, hundred percent. Really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I have uh, my voice carries. That's what we always say in the family. Because in the store, like, I can hear my mom. You can mom. hear me on the other side of the airport, honey. Uh, yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. Carries. Exactly. <laughs> Carries. Or in hotels, you know, when my whole family's, like, staying somewhere. I'm just like, I know which room is my mom's, like, instantly. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the floor and it's like, <laughs> yeah, over there. That one. We've had a lot of problems with the, the batteries and whatnot now. So, saying goodbye really quick. Uh, this has been Just Talking Shit with Melody Clemma. Yeah. Uh, I think we got... One date in there. Any other dates coming up for you that you need to get plugged? Uh, we're roasting. Let's say goodbye. Oh, in case goodbye. we lose it. Goodbye. Alright, anyway, you can keep going now. Um, so now the credits will be rolling. Oh.
We all look the credits, at all the just my yeah. name over and over again. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> you yeah. At the bottom. And uh, your family for owning the house, <laughs> the <laughs> studio <laughs> that has it. Uh, um, exactly. It's an incubator. Yes. Start an incubator. Okay. Yes, uh, but on July eighth, this comes out before July eighth. Um, I'm roasting coffee. That sounds like more of a barista's job, but I will. Coffee's it's a person. A person. Yeah. Coffee's a guy who really likes attention as well, uh, so we're doing a little event uh, around him. It's his birthday, so we're going to roast him, and then just every first Saturday of the month, that's my locals to last call, maybe Jay would be so kind to put like a link in there or something, um, so I you can so get the event for the Facebook. Yeah, locals to last call, uh, comedy, uh, music, and fun. <laughs> 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 All right, Mel, it's been awesome getting to know you a little bit and doing the podcast, so thanks yeah. for coming on. Uh, this has been Just Talking Shit. Uh, 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 what was I, what was I saying last week? I was trying to think of a name from, from my babies, from my, from my subscribers. From oh. My, uh, my like, little, my, uh, oh, My Little Butter Biscuits. I like that one. No, it needs to be something little, with Jay um, Frazier is why they would, like. My Little Jelly Fit, My Little, uh -huh. My Little Jellies. Like, you call little, them, like, my Kelsey. Little Jaguars. Kelsey Grammers, because your name is Frazier. Oh, my God. <laughs> my Little Kelsey Grammers. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's pretty funny. I kind of like that one, actually. Yeah. All right, My Little Kelsey Grammers. Uh. Uh, Andy was on here and he said that it should be uh, my little pretentious douchebag. <laughs> I was like, yeah. just because the host is one yeah. doesn't mean I mean. Yeah. Know. Thank you, all of my twelve subscribers. Yeah, and, you have twelve. Uh, yeah. Ooh, double digits. Yeah. That's exciting. We out here. We yeah. <laughs> we're doing we have this. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> Down here, now up here a little bit. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, all right, take it easy, motherfuckers. You gotta fall off the camera. Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, look right into the camera and tell us a little bit about yourself? Tell us your name. Hey, I'm Jacqueline. Um, this is my first time here at uh, Giant Rubbers, but I'm really excited. Uh, We're really happy that you came in, Jacqueline. Yeah. Um, tell us, so, what what kind of stuff do you like to do in bed? Do you like, are you, are you into girls, are you into guys? Um, well, I have to say I'm pretty new I, uh, to this whole thing, so I'm up to a lot. <laughs> uh, I just got my ID that says I'm 18. <laughs> So we are uh, we're down for some fun stuff, you know. I'm still I'm still into uh, new things. Food just learned about incorporating food. That's been real nice. I like eating. Oh, tell us your your favorite uh, vegetable to uh, to just really you know really get in there and just just blast yourself. Which, yeah. What's your oh, favorite? for myself. Yeah, um, yeah. When you know, yeah. just when you're alone in your free time. Yeah, I would say my favorite vegetable for myself when I'm alone would have to be a banana. The banana has been my favorite because you have to be gentle. You can't squeeze it, uh, or you are gonna get a U UTI. That's for sure. You're gonna get a pussy full banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as shit. <laughs>